focus. Salt is good. But if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? The one thing I am careful about whilst cooking is the salt because the saltiness differs according to the seller. Although salt cannot lose its savour, adulteration can affect its saltiness and spoil the whole dish. Today's readings bring a sense of urgency to many of us dulled by a lax lifestyle. Jesus reveals the true horror of sin to the extent that if we take him literally, most of us will appear crippled or maimed. On the other hand, by watering down Jesus' message, we make it insipid. We may commit an even greater sin and lead one of these little ones. Christians whose faith is weak, astray, whether by gossip or fear-mongering or diluting the gospel to suit our convenience. The pandemic shows me that while I may plan things to the smallest degree, life itself is as fleeting as a mist and I cannot say with certainty what the future may hold. I need to act today and use this precious time by treating the word of God as primary, not secondary, whether in behavior or personal relationships. I can, in my own small way, add the Christian flavors of love, joy, peace to those around me. So my presence adds saltiness and I am missed in my absence. Fruit. Let us cultivate one quality of Christian salt, maybe love or forgiveness, today, not tomorrow. Thank you.